Hello everyone, you all are welcome once again to Believers Love of Message Studio. And this channel brings you all gospel gist all around the world. And this channel also brings you all reaction messages from my dear man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilomi. And if it's your first time coming across this channel and you don't want to miss messages like this or posting on this channel, then kindly do hit the subscribe button and also turn on the location bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video. So on today's episode, we're going to be listening to Hubert Angel Jr. Sia as he was talking about how he almost got seduced by a young lady and how he was able to resist the temptation. So let's sit back and listen to the rest of his sermons. And please, if you have anything at all to tell us about this message, if you have anything at all to tell us about this message, then do not forget to leave a comment on the comment section. And do not forget to share this message for you to help us to share the gospel of Christ all around the world and it also helps this channel to grow and don't forget to give us a thumbs up for it to help youtube to recommend our videos thank you all and keep watching this is the reality of many christians spiritually asleep jacob was spiritually asleep and yet the presence of god was with him the presence of god was with him he got into a place of the atmospheric presence and he only realized it when it was too late my prayer is that we do not realize it until it, when it's too late. You will find people here. Even if I ask certain people here, what was ministered last night? They don't know. Uh, people, I'll come and ask you. Are you here, somebody? Hello? You will ask them, what was actually ministered last night? They don't know. Why? They were spiritually asleep. I remember one time as I was leaving the service, Shall I testify or not testify? My people here, shall I testify or not testify? So I'm ministering the revelation, ministering the revelation. Someone actually came to me. They said, this thing, this, this thing this young boy is doing, this seer, he's, it's like he's doing a performance. I said, Kai. I said, in fact, I'm actually underperforming. But if I start to perform, ah, I said, this one that you're telling me is actually a compliment because if I start to perform, wait until I start. Maleka Payadia. Sit down, sit down, sit down. He said, ah, It's like he's doing a performance. I said, I said, This is the best compliment I've ever had because if I begin to perform, I'll begin to perform in a few minutes. So, now, so I'm leaving the service. And um, I think I, I wanted to check the thing outside those, those banners where you see our poster there. And obviously when you go past the street, you then see the billboard ETC. So I was checking all those things. And now I came to check the poster. And so it was after the service. Now, one lady, she came up to me. Now, this is one of the stories I said that my mom should not hear. This is... <laughs> so just act like she's not here. Now, she, 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 she came to me. I don't, like I said, I don't know how she got near me. To be honest, security, they're lacking, they're slacking. <laughs> now she came to me, and it was after the service. She said, oh, see ya. You know. <laughs> hey. I said, get thee behind me. <laughs> so, you know what, I'll say it another time. So, she now came to me. She said, oh, see ya, you know. <laughs> You're putting your hand upon me like that. See ya, you know the service, oh my God. I just, oh, now you, you people, you know that. <laughs> she said, See her, you know, and, and uh, I wish the camera was good because she was rubbing my chest now, like. I, I pray she is not here, but if she, it might be that person that is quiet next to you. It might be that person. She now say, See, uh, you know, the service was so nice. I just look at you're so handsome. I... Now, I said, me, handsome. What is handsome about me? My sisters tell me now. I'm joking. 
I said, Sia, you know, you're just so handsome. I look, oh my gosh, Sia. And you know, this is what they say. They say, if I can just have a husband like you. She's not like me. She is applica- appli- it's an application for me. I said, I said, so, so, what did you get from this, the service? What did you like? She said, oh, Sia, be serious. I said, get thee behind me. Satan, move away from me. Alia Kabayashe. Hey. Sit down, sit down. I said, Kai. She said, be serious, here. Yeah. Uh-uh. Be serious. She even called me UJ. UJ. <laughs> I said, get thee behind me, Satan. I I said, I won't fall like this. Lord, let me not fall like this. And you see, the enemy, the enemy knows what you like. eh? (laughs) Ah! (laughs) Sit down, sit down. Listen, I told you, this was the wrong story for my mother to be here. The, the enemy, the enemy now, he knows what you like. He said, Abraham liked fair women. Isaac liked fair women. Jacob liked fair women. Now I see, a, oh, no, 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 no. So now when I saw her, she was even a bit shorter than me. I said, Beleka Parano. I said, I, I saw her. Now she's saying, see, I'll be serious. And it was after service. <laughs> I was even staying in London that time. I, could, <laughs> I said, Lord, let me not fall like this. Let me not end like this. Hold me, Lord. Help me, help me. <laughs> 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 Sit down. I said, Lord, I can't fall like this. No, no, no. Help me to stand strong. Because this one, she was a damsel. Ayate. <laughs> you know what? Let me stop this story now before it goes too far. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> so, I knew this one. She was spiritually asleep. I said, this one is spiritually asleep. I asked her, what did I preach? She said, be serious. I said, no. This one was spiritually asleep. Anyways, ah, my gosh. Spiritually asleep. She couldn't even name what, what I ministered on. Not even a sentence. Spiritually asleep. Many of us, we are spiritually asleep. And yet the enemy is planting snares while we are asleep. But we have not awoken to the reality of Christ on the inside of us. That we are now spiritually asleep, spiritually ignorant to the plans and agendas of the enemy. And we know it not. There are many of you, some of my brothers, not even many, some of my brothers here. You don't know. You just, you said, let's go. You don't even know what I'm about to say, my brother. (laughs) You woke up with out of nowhere a cleaving to women. Is that still you? You know (laughs) <laughs> can I prophesy <laughs> I'm just joking now this is in all seriousness you woke up to a cleaving to women you don't know some is my sisters a cleaving to men and out of nowhere for so many years you are going on straight out of nowhere you don't know what is taking place even when service is going on you feel something Imagine the pastor is now a distraction. That's why I end my services quickly. So then I don't. (laughs) I'm just joking. The point is, for so many years, you are going on normal. Out of nowhere, you have woken up to a strong cleaving to woman. Every single woman that is there, you just have to. Please, my, my auntie, please, can you just stand up, please? Let me use an example. It's such a, 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 you know, ironic that prophet uses it as an example as well. But out of nowhere, 
it, you can't just give side hug. It has to be full hug. How are you? Thank you so much, my auntie. You are doing full hug, receiving full hug. Kai. You are wondering, what is taking place? I'm being serious here. You think it's natural. It's not. That is a demonic agenda. What is taking place? Out of nowhere, there's a strong cleaving to lust. Strong cleaving to women. Strong cleaving to men. Every man you, you see, you think is attracted to you. Let me tell you something. Fleas are attracted to fishes. So just because every man is attracted to you doesn't mean it's a good thing. I hope my sisters are getting something here. The point is, the reason why it seems as if you are going on years on end, nothing was taking place. You never felt this cleaving to the things of the enemy. Out of nowhere, it's because a snare has been placed while you were sleep, spiritually asleep. You are spiritually asleep. And whilst you were asleep, the enemy planted a snare right there. And unbeknown to you, destruction was already taking place. Wow, 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 wow. I believe you all enjoyed that wonderful episode and I believe you've been blessed by that message. And if this is your first time coming across this channel and uh, you don't want to miss messages like this or posting on this channel, then kindly do hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video. And don't forget to share our messages for it to help us to share the gospel of Christ all around the world and it also helps the channel to grow. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up for it to help YouTube to recommend our videos. Thanks for watching once again. And stay tuned till we see you next time. We love you and God bless you.